All right, well, I really wanted a video, um, some stuff about the aftermarket cylinders when building or rebuilding my first unit, which right now is an awesome thumper with 25 inch bar, uh, rebuilt air box, 26 and a half thousand squish on a uh, pop-up piston, uh, highway kit, ported obviously. Um, however, I didn't get to that, so I wanna document some of this one specifically in so far as these big bore kits. Now, I did just finish installing this one. Um, I'm not ready to actually test it yet. Gotta let that moto seal cure. Um, however, um, these kits have, I have another one right here. Um, these kits get a lot of flack for good reason, because they do have problems, but I posit, or I theorize that I can make them work, and I am going to report back with an update once um, I run this, not not this, um, but but the, uh, the, the big bore that I will be making nice. Um, this one is stock, and I'm running it out of the box, so I can check uh, how it runs, if it runs. I mean, look at the numbers. Look at the numbers. Um, the uh, intake duration is 212 degrees. It's insane. Um, okay. Um, yeah. At any rate, I'm gonna go one by one through the uh, the gripes with the uh, the big bore kits and how I plan to get around them. So um, let's start with number one: the ring of death. Um, up at the top of a cylinder, um, the plating doesn't on these aftermarket kits. The plating doesn't always go all the way to the top, and if it doesn't go all the way to the top then instead of hard plating the uh the piston ring will be pushing into soft softer aluminum and it will quickly wear a little indentation and then it will hang itself and uh and rip the top of the piston straight off when uh when the ring catches you don't want that and uh, the, uh, the ring of death inside of these big bores, I ordered one. First thing I checked was how the ring looked, um, if there was one and how bad it was. And sadly, it was really bad. So I contacted seller, hoping that um, he would send me a better one, sadly, instead of refund. And uh, ho uh, he did send me another one. Sadly, it was identical to this one. Um, now the measurements on it, it is, uh, let's see, it's uh, 233 thousandths uh, from the top at its worst spot. And uh, the second piston ring's top isn't until 272 thousandths from the piston ring, uh, from the piston crown, plus whatever squish you add in there. Um, so uh, with 20 thousandths squish, or I'm sorry, no, no, before, before squish, it's about a millimeter or 40 thousandths clear. Um, but you cannot run a top ring. If you run a top ring, you are going to pop it off, no question about it. Um, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's complaint number one. Complaint number two, they free port. Well, the reason that they free port is the same reason that their intake duration is so awful. Um, it's because they come with pistons that are... Uh, that are markedly smaller, they are 82 thousandths shorter than a standard uh, piston would be. Um, 82 thousandths, they're 1.610. And that's not just these cheap ones. I've spoken with the Duke, I've spoken with uh, 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 Sawhill. Um, they confirmed that for the highway kit, it doesn't matter if it's farmer tech or highway, you're gonna find these shortened, uh, shortened pistons. Now the, uh, the piston, this is a big bore piston. Uh, this, uh, the pistons are shortened by a significant degree compared to the 54s. And five thousandths of that is um, in the crown, but most of it, um, 78 thousandths of it, um, is in the skirt. And uh, I mean, that's a 9.6 degree change in intake timing, which would be almost a 19 degree increase in intake duration um so yeah that is a massive problem but at the same time some jb weld um i had never done this before the first time i ever <laughs> i reached over like i'm gonna be able to show the intake port um i already did up the boot so yeah there's not gonna be any way i'm gonna be able to show the the intake port but um it's super simple you just gotta prep it clean it be sure you know you that you know what 
I mean by proper prep for bite and proper cleaning. And you intake the floor like by quite a bit. <laughs> and then you're recarving your entire uh, intake slot, um, intake port to your liking. Um, problem solved. No uh, piston rings make contact with it. No big deal. Um, so you can change the ridiculous piston uh, uh, intake duration by changing that. Um, the uh, the uh, something that I really like is that the uh, right out of the box it had uh, 24.4 degrees uh, blowdown, which is from uh, from when the exhaust cracks to when the uh, transfers crack. Um, I'm happy with both. Uh, the exhaust, I can probably open that up five degrees um, duration. Um, the uh, I don't think I'm going to touch the transfer duration or touch the upper transfers at all. Obviously, I'll hog out the uh, the lowers. Um, it's something like this. And I'll be hogging out the piston. Here's a before and after. Before. Uh, before, after, so that I can have that large capacity flow through, tiny, large. So I'll be doing that on the uh, the other big bore piston, making a huge pass through and some grooves for oil, um, and uh, dogging out the bottom transfers so that the uh, the 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 total throughput, uh, uh, the, the tunnel as well, um, but not the uppers. Um, so that total throughput is higher, um, which is required on a higher output machine. Oh, I should mention as well that the, uh, the transfer tunnel is subtly larger, which is nice. Um, the, the wall, the cylinder wall here almost looks a touch thin, but I don't suspect it'll be a problem, but it is cool that the, the, all the ports are identical to a 54 millimeter, except the transfers are slightly deeper, which is nice. Um, and actually, that leads me to uh, the to uh, the final complaint, as far as I know of, um, which is that people will say the port timing's bad. Well, I've I, I've checked it out, I've charted it out, and compared to any other 54 millimeter jugs, uh, the ports are going to be the same size and the same height. Um, this is what I would have expected, considering that it's just a uh, enlargement of bore, you know, lateral, radial, not not uh, taller or shorter. Um, and furthermore, I wouldn't want people making, you know, cloned uh, cylinders to go and try guesswork as to how large they should be making the ports. I'm happy that they send them this way and then let us decide. I'm, I, I've always been of the mindset that you would, should never purchase one of these kits if you're not intending on porting it and building the engine. These are not plug-and-play kits by any stretch of the mind. Um, the highway kits barely qualify for that. I do believe that they qualify, though. Um, I have a highway kit in uh, this guy and love it. Um, so, at any rate, I'll uh, I'll be back once I've had a chance to run him. Um, the moto seal needs a bit to cure, so I'm not going to pull it over till tomorrow. I'm going to run it for a little bit and see uh, how it even does in this ridiculous configuration while simultaneously porting this guy out. Um, and then I'll swap this piston and I'm sorry uh, this piston this big bore piston and this big bore cylinder on um, and see what we can squeeze out of this guy um, the oh um, the last thing uh, uh, when people say that you know it free ports well yes it's very close to free porting if uh, like for instance I'm using moto seal only no uh, no base gasket and I'm going to be about a 10 to 11 thousandths from free porting which means you cannot machine this now that means you cannot uh, drop the uh, uh, the band in the base to achieve higher compression but something that's pretty fascinating that I only discovered recently is that on these big bore kits the chamber is smaller than on 54 millimeter kits. In fact, this one I've machined the uh, the the band just a little bit, and uh, and that's what I actually used for comparing the two. Um, and these big bore kits have a 11.8 uh, percent or 1.17 cc's tighter chamber, so they are already going to have a higher compression ratio out of the box, and that's with the higher displacement.
So, yeah, I'll have an eight pin on this and I'll report back. Uh, oh, and 10,000 advance on time. And so I'll report back. 